How'd you feel like you played today? I feel like I had a lot better game than uh, what I did on Tuesday. I don't think the foul trouble kind of messed me up a little bit. Got out of my rhythm, but I feel like I played hard and I try to make the right play every time. Kyle acknowledged he's been kind of tough on you on the court this season. What, what, what's he saying to you in those situations? You know, just to be aggressive, try to make the right play. I mean, if he's not yelling at me like that, he probably doesn't care about me. So I appreciate him, you know, coaching me hard and, you know, staying on me at all times. In the moment, is it difficult to, to take that kind of coaching or is it you just kind of let it? Not at all. I grew up with my dad coaching me, so there's nothing I haven't seen before. Who's worse, Kyle or your dad as a coach? I probably got the edge right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't been yelled at, like, yelled at like that in a long time. <laughs> yeah, he said he's on you to take more, take more twos, and you were taking more mid range. It seemed like as the game went on. Is that has that been a point of emphasis in practices too? Or? Yeah, I think uh, earlier in the exhibition games and other stuff that we did, I was fell in love with the three a little bit too much. And now uh, I'm a mid range player. And that's where, like, like he said, that's who I am. So I got to stick to who I am, and then, you know, as I get more comfortable, I step out, and, uh, step behind the line. One time you got a rebound, and I, I think you said, "I need one." <laughs> are we at the point of the season where you all are fighting each other? For yeah, I had to fight Tyrese for that rebound right there. Is that a good problem to have? It's a great problem to have. How much fun are you guys having as a group? It seems like early on, like. Maxi and, and, and Quick are posing for cameras on the baseline, and it seems like there's a lot, a lot of fun, a lot of camaraderie already this season. Oh uh, yeah, we've grown very close over this time we spent together. You know, I feel like uh, the more closer we are, the better we are going into the postseason throughout the year. So we just trying, you know, keep it tight, not let any outside noise affect what we're doing. So we're a very close and tight knit group. Is it tough to avoid the outside noise when you beat the number one team in the country in Madison Square Garden? Or? I mean, it probably is for some, but I mean, we won. We beat the number one team in the country. We played well, so that's all you can ask for at the end of the day. Were you worried about this game at all since it was a lesser component? Opponent? Uh, I was eager to get back to play again, especially not be, me not playing the way I wanted to Tuesday. I knew it was a lot better. I was a lot better than what I was, so I was ready to get this one going. Cal was getting on you pretty hard there, and you kind of responded back with, you know, playing pretty good. Just talk about know, I guess just playing well and what does it mean when he yells at you, you just kinda of ignore it and go on or I mean I wanna say I ignore it but like I have to I have to take it. I mean I I'm not gonna sit there and argue with him. You know what he's doing and I mean if he's not yelling at me like that he probably doesn't care about me so I took it as, you know, I need to respond well and go out there and play harder. Talk about the big man his play how he's, he's you know getting better and you know helping you guys out being a rim protector. Uh, Nick, Nick has been playing great. You know, he's been, he's been a monster down there. He's having my most safety rebound, blocking shots. If he's not blocking the shot, he's changing it around the rim. So Nick is playing out of his mind right now. I just wanted to keep it up. You know, it makes my job a little bit easier. I ain't got to go go down there, mix it up, and grab a couple rebounds. But Nick's been playing really well. I'm proud of him. Whose dunk was better, yours or Khalil's? Mine. <laughs> you all have a competition? All the time in practice? Uh, really sometimes. More sometimes me and Khalil might have a dunk contest after practice or something. But it's just all in good spirits. And just us trying to push each other to get better every day. Keon, how would you describe your uh, role before you came here on teams? You know, I'm assuming you were the man mm -hmm. among, you know, men. But how, you know, what was your role like uh, at the lower level? Just like you said, I was relied on to score the ball a lot, you know, just be be the man, like you said, um, you know, coming here. Yeah, I feel like everybody's a man, the man in their own way. You got to be a star in your role. And whatever Coach Kyle asks you to do, you do that to the best of your ability. So, I mean, it's, it's been an adjustment for me, but it's nothing I can't, I can't get over. How much freedom did you have at the lower level to, you know, do what you think you could do? I had a lot of freedom, and uh, we still have freedom now. You just know, as long as you're playing hard and making the right play, Kyle gives you the freedom to do, do the things that you can do. As long as you don't get outside yourself and try to do something that you know you can't do. But uh, as long as you stay within yourself and you know, trying to play hard and make the right play, you got the freedom to do whatever you want. Nate said that uh, Kyle's good at nipping the egos in the mud. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, what do you think that means? I just think it means, you know, everybody coming in and you've been the man for so long your whole life. It's, it's kind of hard to adjust, you know, taking a step back in a lesser role and 
you know, not being the star of the team all the time. So, I mean, we got a, a good group of teammates and players. Coaching staff also does a good job, of, you know, making sure our egos in check. But uh, at the same time, you know, you still want to be aggressive and be assertive out there on the court. So, we found a good balance of, you know, being team players, but also, you know, asserting ourselves out there.